Hey guys, it's me, Chino, aka the Slumdog Titan, aka Miss Hypocrite, and welcome to a Chi No Show Science. So today's episode is just talking about the worst motivational motivational mistakes people make when looking to get into the gym or starting the new routine. So first one is the typical starting on a Monday. You only set yourself up to fail because what people tend to do is start on the Monday, do the favorite exercise. They feel sore for another two, three days. So they rest by then it's Wednesday. And then come Thursday, Friday, they might go back to the gym, do say they start to a chest on Monday, then they go, I'll do shoulders. And then I'll do arms. It's like you've just done upper body workout. Then you rest on Sunday and Saturday. And you think, okay, well, didn't really do as much as I wanted to. Doesn't matter. Start again on Monday. Like, never do that, guys. It, you only set yourself up to fail. And you and you give yourself a cycle of just nothing going around. Like, the best option and what I tend to do is start on a random day. So I start on Wednesdays or start on Tuesdays or just any day except the traditional Monday because then it doesn't feel like you give yourself a full cycle. It just feels like you just started and then you continue on. And I feel like that that's the thing that works best for me. Another one is having chest on Monday. What people don't seem to realise is that they get stuck into chest on Monday, go to the gym, gym's too busy, then they... They have this bad idea of there's no point actually doing anything on the Monday because gym's always packed. You you find that if you switch up what you do on certain days, you actually get more from it. Another one people tend to do, which is the worst to motivate themselves, is buy your new gym stuff and buy your new gym gear. I like I call these people seasonal gym goers. I'm sorry, but. You don't need to be in your £70 Nike Pro Top. You're not a sponsored athlete. If you're just a normal person who looks to work, who's looking to work out, guys, you're going to get sweaty. You're going to buy this £70 top. Wear it, or £70 short or whatever. Wear it, get sweaty, you wash it, it shrinks. I don't see the point. You think you can come in, show off, or when you're matching gear. Like, I'm sorry, unless you are sponsored by Nike, or Adidas or whoever and you get that stuff sent to you you look like a tit and you just be wasting money just wear anything wear scruff wear the cheapest stuff you get because all you're going to find is you're going to sweat in it it's going to be damp and that's it another one is oh yeah hiring a personal trainer without really looking into his past without really knowing the goals you want you just you think that's just what people do guys i'm not knocking personal trainers but in this day and age i'm sorry but all the knowledge personal trainers have is easily accessible it's 2013 any knowledge is easily easily accessible I'm not saying that you know you can be fucking you don't need to go like you don't need to go to a hospital because you can find treatments online so you can just do it yourself no but this is just fitness guys this, like with a lot of personal trainers you look into them and they're fantastic superb and some people need them but with normal people just looking to train and get the basic advice and thinking that they can't find it elsewhere they don't believe stuff online or that's easily researchable it's a waste of money down the drain let's see another one is oh yeah as well with buying stuff i see lots of people buying like these nike fuel bands and buying like these like ridiculous accessories just to have accessories. If you don't need it, guys, you don't need it. Nike fuel bands. Who's fucking arsed? Oh, you, you need something that lights up when you move. Fucking get trainers that light up if you if you're that fucking interested. Um, let's see. Oh, that's it. Okay, another one that's really bad for you is going to the gym. And ego lifting, and not just being trained in ego lifting, but being someone who's newly started the gym, who goes online and sees what, uh, say, Ronnie Coleman's doing, and instead of 
going, okay, well, I'm no Ronnie Coleman. I might adapt that and adjust the weight for myself and lift comfortably what I can do that kind of strenu that gives me that strenuous exercise I need. But, you know, people don't think about that. They think, okay, well, going to get to the gym, going to prove a point, going to stick this weight, going to do the same set, do the same reps. And then you find out that you're going to get DOMS. If you don't know what DOMS means, it's basically, in layman's terms, do you know when you go to the gym and that aching feeling that you feel, aching pain you feel a few days afterwards? People go to the gym, kill themselves like that. And it's not, oh, oh, oh that must be overtraining. That isn't overtraining. That's fucking ego lifting. That's being a tit. That's not really working towards any progression. It's just killing yourself and giving yourself an excuse not to go back to the gym. Let's see, another one is... Actually, yeah, I'm going to Guys, the best way to get motivated is to take things slow, to research, and to motivate yourself. Look, set, set your goals. You don't even have to set goals, just an ultimate fitness aim. But don't fall for the gimmicks, because that's all they are, gimmicks. Buy these new trainers, £100. Guys, unless you compete, there's no fucking point. You're not going to impress anyone and no one's really that harsh. Anyway, that's it. That's me. That's me done.